Good morning, children. Welcome to today's virtual session of Nine Standard History. Let us begin the session with the quote: "Yesterday is history. Tomorrow is a mystery. But today is a gift. That is why it is called the present." With this thought in mind. I would like to continue the topic sources of history children already you have come to know that history must be based on authentic evidence or proofs and these proofs are known as the sources of history i discussed in detail about the written and material sources of history today i would like to explain oral sources and sources in the audio visual medium children what do you understand by oral sources oral sources can be defined as the recording preservation an interpretation of historical information based on the personal experiences and opinions of the speaker it enables people to share their stories in their own words with their own voices through their own understanding of what happened and why the following sources are included in the oral sources folk tales folk songs proverbs ballads and ways now i would like to explain each and every source in detail folk tale is a folklore genre that typically consists of a story passed down from generation to generation orally the story of the boy who cried wolf is an example of a folk tale common types of folk tales include fairy tales fables etc children do you have any idea about folk song folk song is a song originating among the people of a country or are passed by oral tradition from one singer or generation to the next often existing in several version and mark generally by simple modal melody and stanzaic narrative verse a song of similar character written by a known composer folk songs are important to music because they give a short history of the people involved in the music Here I want to give you at least two examples of folk song. City of New Orleans by Steve Goodman and Blowing in the Wind by Bob Dylan. Next is proverb. A proverb is a simple concrete traditional saying that expresses a perceived truth based on common sense or experience i can give you an example of a proverb that early to bed and early to rise makes a man healthy wealthy and wise next one ballads a ballad is a form of words often a narrative set to music samuel taylor coleridge 
Coldridge Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner is one of the best example of a ballad. The poem is very strictly structured in terms of meter and rhyme and tells a story of an old sailor who stops people on their way into a party. Then we have Ois. Ois is the Marathi verses in the oral tradition. Activists were also inspired by the Puaras of Lakshahir Annabahu Sathe and Shahir Amar Sheikh during the Sangyukta Maharashtra movement. Children, here I want to give you some information about Sangyukta Maharashtra movement. Sangyukta Maharashtra movement was an organization that starting on 6 February 1956 demanded the creation of a separate Marathi speaking state out of the state of Bombay in western India with the city of Bombay as its capital. And this movement achieved its aim when the present state of Maharashtra was created on 1st May 1960. So, still now I have discussed about the oral sources of history. Now, I would like to continue the audio-visual sources. Television, films, internet, are called audio-visual media. Many domestic and foreign television channels also come under the head as example History Channel, Discovery Channel, etc. Audio-visual sources actually those sources where we can see as well as we can listen something, whatever is going to uh, going on the screen or whatever we are visualizing. You can see in the history channel that the different uh, artifacts, the different historical places, the different historical proofs, whenever they discuss on a particular topic, at that time, we can see something related to the topic as well as we can listen to the uh, topic what is going on. In the discovery channel also, from where we can get a lot of information as well as we can visualize what is going on the screen. Now, I want to discuss about Film and Television Institute of India. Children, I think you have an idea about FTII. FTII, the full form is Film and Television Institute of India. It is an autonomous institute under the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting of the Government of India and aided by the Central Government of India. It is situated on the premises of the erstwhile Prabhat Film Company in Pune. Since its inception in 1960, FTII has become India's premier film and television institute with its alumni 
becoming technicians, actors, and directors in the film and television industry. It was started with the purpose of providing public education. So children, here you have come to know about the Film and Television Institute of India. Here I want to discuss also about the Indian News Review. It is an institute called Indian News Review has produced various news reels on important events in politics, social issues, art, sports and culture. This department has also produced various documentaries on prominent social leaders, on people who have made major contribution for the country, and about important location in India. These news release and documentaries are useful for studying the history of modern India. So children, also you have come to know about Indian News Review. It is an institute and also it has produced various newsreels on important events in politics.